Hello everyone. I'm Neeta Shankar. I'm a wedding and lifestyle photographer from Bangalore. So today I'm doing a quick unboxing and first impressions video of the Nikon's latest DSLR D780. So D780 is the upgrade to D750 which came over 5 and a half years ago. So this is a much awaited camera. So let's open the box and see what's inside. looks great has the typical form factor of a prosumer DSLR feels very familiar in the hands and it has the Nikon F mount it takes the EL15B battery which is the same as Nikon Z6 and Z7 so here I have the 24-120 f4 lens what I want to talk about is I want to just compare the specifications of this camera versus what I already have the Z6 and also you know talk about how it's an improvement over the D750 the D780 is a hybrid camera that is it is a DSLR but it takes its uh, features from the Z6 and Z7 uh, cameras. So a lot of its features are borrowed from the Z system and some of its features are also borrowed from the D850 and D5. So that way it's a really big improvement over the D750. So let's go over the features and uh, figure out the similarities between D780 and Z6 and also how it fares over the D750. There are a few changes over the D750 uh, in terms of the button placement. As far as I remember, D750's ISO button was somewhere down below, whereas now it has been shifted to here, which makes more sense because when you're changing the settings, it's easier to change the setting right here. So there is a dedicated day of on button in the back. Uh, also, the live view button has been shifted on top over here. So it makes more sense when you're shooting. It's easier to you know ch uh, switch to uh, video or turn on the live view. So that way, in terms of the button placement, they've made a lot of improvements and it uh, actually feels a lot better now. Another major uh, difference is that there is no pop-up flash anymore. Uh, well, anyways, as a professional, you would not use a pop-up flash anyway, so they've removed it. Of course, some people do prefer to use it to trigger their uh, optical slaves and also to use as a fill flash, although I don't prefer to use it that way. So I don't miss the pop-up flash at all. In fact, I think by removing the pop-up flash, they're actually ensuring that the weather sealing is going to be perfect because when there is a pop-up flash, there are chances that the moisture can get inside from there. The D780 also has a touch screen which makes it really easy to change settings and this is something that was missing in the 750 so it's a big upgrade from that. It now comes with a USB-C port so making your firmware upgrade and your data transfer is much faster. It comes with dual SD card slot, UHS-2 SD card slot which is really fast card so that's a really good thing uh, especially for wedding photographers or uh, event photographers who uh, are worried about losing their data if it's recorded on a single card. If you are really concerned about uh, data then having two card slots makes it redundant and it makes it actually a lot more safer. You can uh, set your camera to write the raw files onto both cards so that's a really good thing in this. Uh, that is one thing I miss in my Z6 because uh, Z6 has a single card slot uh, but since Z6 takes an XQD card or a CF Express card, uh, so these cards are a lot more stable and secure uh, than SD card so that way I am pretty okay with a single card slot as well. So let's look at some similarities between the D780 and the Z6. Uh, to begin with, they both share the same sensor that is a 24.5 megapixel BIS CMOS sensor which is the same as the one in Z6. It also has the same processor which is the XPeed 6 processor so it is a really fast and energy efficient processor so that's a really good thing about D780 that it has you know got these newer technological developments from the mirrorless series. It also has the same autofocus as the Z6 uh, when it comes to live view. That is 273 phase detection autofocus points in live view, which will essentially make it exactly the same as Z6 when you're shooting uh, in live view. 
in viewfinder you have 51 autofocus points uh, and the autofocus algorithms are borrowed from the d5 so which is a big improvement over the d750 also it's noteworthy to mention that the auto focusing in live view covers almost 90% of the frame which is the same as in Z6 so your autofocus points will move all the way from left to right and top to bottom which makes it really easy to change focus point and uh, focus in live view another improvement in uh, autofocus is the availability of eye detection autofocus uh, which was introduced into Z6 and Z7 via a firmware upgrade uh, now this is ready available in this and you can use the eye detection autofocus and it makes it really easy especially while shooting uh, videos and while shooting in live view you can use this eye detection to easily focus on your subjects the D780 can shoot continuous frames up to 7 frames per second uh, in viewfinder and if you're shooting in live view uh, where it's using live view and uh, the silent shutter then you can shoot up to 12 frames per second. The native ISO sensitivity of the camera has been improved and now it can go up to 51,200 ISO. It also comes with focus stacking which is uh, which is also a feature of the Z6, Z7 and also uh, I think focus stacking is also available in D850. So this one also comes with focus stacking and it helps uh, when you're shooting landscapes and you want uh, focus throughout or you, even when you're shooting uh, macro and you want to stack focus, uh, it's a great feature to have. Most favorite feature of mine, I think, and it's a really helpful feature for all landscape photographers is that the shutter speed range has been expanded uh, in the lower range up to 15 minutes you can set a shutter speed of 15 minutes right in the camera so people who want to do uh, night photography astrophotography uh, or long exposures in landscape photography uh, for all of them these uh, this feature will be really helpful and uh, on the higher end the shutter speed can go up to 1 by 8 thousandth of a second which is again an improvement over the d750 which can go up to just 1 by 4 thousandth of a second so the D780 is a DSLR with a lot of its features borrowed from the mirrorless system. So it is technologically advanced because it takes all the latest features from the mirrorless cameras and maintaining the same form factor of a DSLR. So it is useful for those people who are comfortable with the DSLR system and don't want to immediately move to mirrorless for whatever reason. And uh, for those who prefer the optical viewfinder rather than an electronic viewfinder. It is also helpful for those who prefer the longer battery life, uh, especially photojournalists, wedding photographers, event photographers, sports photographers who don't want to keep changing batteries uh, and miss moments in that uh, time. So it is great for those people. D780 has the usual benefits of a DSLR system with all the technological advancements of a mirrorless camera. So it is great for people who have already invested a lot of money into uh, F-mount lenses and who don't want to move into mirrorless uh, and start investing in the Z-mount lenses. To summarize what we spoke until now, D780 is a really good camera with a lot of uh, new features borrowed from the Z system as well as the D850 and uh, D5 uh, higher end DSLR systems. So which makes it a really feature packed camera so whether you invest in uh, Z series or you invest in the D780 you won't go wrong so that's all I have for today hope you like the first impressions video I'll try and follow it up with uh, another detailed review once I use this camera on field I'm soon going to be taking it on field in one of my shoots do like share and subscribe to this channel uh, also click on the bell icon to get notifications of all future videos